Enjoy this free preview from My Outdoor TV. This bit always gets a shiver down my spine. With over 20,000 episodes of the best outdoor shows, we're the home of the adventurous. When you're hunting, weather can change. We know this. The legends. That was the hardest, best talk of my life. My Outdoor TV. For a 30-day free trial, use promo code YT22. Welcome back you guys to season number two of Nordic Wild Hunter and in this season I'm going on 10 shorter trips. Uh, each trip will be from one to two weeks and on those trips I will survive only on what food I can find in the nature. And as we're sitting here now it's spring and in springtime it's not much to eat in nature except from from either fish or wild animals uh, that i can hunt and the only animal i can hunt in this area at this time is beaver so for one to two weeks ahead now i will paddle my canoe and walk along the rivers and see if i can find beavers and if i don't i'm gonna get hungry and if i do get beaver I'll probably do fine. I'll now show you the gear I bring when I go on, on trips like this, and this is springtime. So I don't bring more than I can put into this backpack. So here is my sleeping bag. I always bring a good axe. You can chop firewood and uh, you can chop down material if you're building a shelter. And this one is pretty sharp, so I can do a lot of the stuff that I also can do with a knife. I have my rifle here with a loophole scope. And I also have a, a camera that's filming through the scope so you guys can see what I see when I'm out hunting. And hopefully I'll, I'll get something. Um, as for optics, uh, otherwise, I'm bringing uh, my loophole binoculars and the rangefinder. Beavers are small targets and it's good to know the exact range when I'm shooting. And this here uh, is, um, is something I always bring when I go on, on these outdoor trips and as a, a reindeer skin. So I'm sleeping on this one. It's soft and also insulating. What I'm doing now when I'm out paddling is I'm going to look for fresh sign of the beaver. It's quite easy to see when the beavers have been about. You know, there's lots of sticks that I've been feeding on. So it's quite easy to see. Oh, there's a couple of, of cranes. Have a look at those. Pretty cool getting close to those cranes. what I just found here, cranberries. It's one of the few berries that you can actually pick in the spring because they survive uh, under the snow during the winter.
I paddled across the lake. I couldn't find any fresh sign of beaver. And I've come to this little stream, so I'm gonna follow it and see if it leads up to some other lakes or some more beaver activity. Look at this. All these trees, they've been cut down by beavers. It's crazy. They even cut down some big trees, these beavers. But as you can see, the, the color of the tree here is brown. It means it's, it's a few years old, actually. Because if it was fresh, it would be the white tree color. So I think, I think the beavers left this area. Nordic Wild Hunter is brought to you by Leupold. Be relentless. And by Savage Arms. Better comes standard. I still don't see any fresh sign. But look at this. It's actually a beaver lodge out there. But I can't see, I can't see any fresh sign. To be honest, I'm a bit disappointed now because I've paddled these lakes and I've been walking for a few hours, quite a few kilometers upstream here, and I haven't seen not one fresh sign of the beaver. It seems I'm gonna be hungry tonight. This is gonna be my tip of the day. When you're making a fire and you have birch trees in the area, this outer bark from the birch tree is uh, one of the best things to start a fire with. When I find a tree like this, I always pick more than I need so that I can bring it dry in my backpack and I'll always be able to start a fire. I mentioned earlier today that I was disappointed and I'm not disappointed in the fact that I didn't get any beaver today because I didn't expect to. It's the first day, but I was hoping to find, you know, fresh sign and activity and I haven't seen any of that, which means I'm gonna go hungry to bed tonight. But it's only the first day, so I mean, I'll, I'll definitely survive that and I'll have to keep looking for, you know, more activity and fresh sign tomorrow. This is one of my favorite things about early spring, being able to sleep outside under the open sky like this before mosquitoes and bugs have started to come and often, you know, nice cool weather like this. Good night. Early morning, day two, I woke up today and not feeling too hungry. And my plan for today is to paddle and see how much ground I can cover.
The beaver is a large rodent with a weight of up to 30 kilograms. They are well distributed through the eastern and southern part of Norway. Beavers build their own homes called a beaver's lodge and they can build large dams sometimes 500 meters long and over one meter high. That means beavers can change the landscape significantly. They create habitat for a number of other animals, birds and insects. In Norway we have over 70,000 beavers and they are a great resource for both meat and their fur. Can you imagine being happy for seeing some sticks lying next to the water? But I am, and this is what I've been looking for. You know, white, fresh sticks and proof that, uh, that beavers are nearby. This is cool. Look at this. A big beaver lodge. Behind me now, you can see the beaver's lodge. That's where they're staying. So I'm definitely gonna spend some time in this area and hopefully I can get one. See this tree here? How the beavers, how the beavers have been feeding here, eh? You can see. See, this is super fresh. And look at all the sticks in the water. So this is a busy feeding place for the beavers. I do prefer to hunt beaver from land. It's very difficult shooting from the canoe. So I'm gonna go across of that most busy feeding place and just sit there and wait until dark and hope something will show up. the waiting game. A hunter's best asset is being patient. It's almost too dark for me to shoot now and I haven't seen anything yet but sometimes they they will come out late in the evening after dark. I'll have to call it a day. It's getting too dark for me to shoot now, but I'll definitely come back in the morning and hopefully have better luck then. swimming around in the lake. But I want the beaver to sit on land before I take a shot.
Finally, I got, I got the beaver. I'll take off my shoes and pants. If not, I'm gonna get soaking wet. <laughs> the water is pretty, pretty cold. It took me four days to finally get a beaver. And I can't even describe the feeling to actually get the animal you're after when you're hunting for your own food. and I'm so happy. I have a beaver here now, so I have food, I have meat. And uh, yeah, it's late evening and I'm gonna go to bed right now and uh, looking so forward until tomorrow and I'm gonna skin the beaver and cook a delicious beaver stew. All skinned and uh, ready for the stew. Two back legs, and then we have the, the back towards the tail, the head. You can see it's, it's a massive thing with uh, quite a bit of meat, and then the um, upper back and the front shoulders. I'm gonna collect firewood, get the fire going, and uh, eat my first proper meal in four days. And I mean, I've, I'm really, really hungry. I've been going for days without eating anything, but I, I haven't been using too much energy. I've been paddling the canoe. It's a great way to move around without spending too much energy. And I don't have any temptations, you know, around like, if you're in the civilization, you have food and temptations around you all the time. In the woods like this, I don't have anything except from what I can find or what I can hunt.
Wow. Mm. So tender. When you've gone four days without eating, I can tell you, this is delicious. And the best part, I have more meat left, so I'm gonna do well for a few more days now. We hope you enjoyed this free preview from My Outdoor TV. To continue watching, start your 30-day free trial when you use promo code YT22.